Welcome back to the classroom. Today we're going to tackle the number one complaint we hear in our computer repair shop, which is, my computer is so slow. So let's get to it. Did you know that a slow computer can waste up to five days a year waiting for it to respond? That's wild. So today we're going to walk you through the tune-up process that we generally use in our computer repair shop. We've got a really sluggish Dell laptop here running Windows 10 that we're gonna bring back to life. But first, I've got a quick tip for you. So before we hop into the tune-up process, I'm going to start you off with a quick tip. Perform a diagnostic test on the hard drive early in the cleanup process. You don't have to do it first thing, but definitely do it early in the process. You don't wanna go through all of this work only to find out that the hard drive is failing or bad. So we're gonna test the hard drive with a piece of free software called Crystal Disk Info. If your drive is some form of an SSD, then there's really no need for this and Crystal Disk might not identify it correctly. Now I've already downloaded and installed the software on this laptop, but we'll put links to the download in the video notes for you. Let's open Crystal Disk Info and test our hard drive. It will do this automatically when we launch it. Okay, now that we've tested the hard drive and it passed, we're going to hop into the tune-up process, but keep in mind, if the hard drive test fails, at that point, you'll wanna start game planning a hard drive replacement. To start off, let's create a system restore point that we can roll back to if there are issues during the tune-up process. Okay, next we'll manually uninstall any unneeded or junk software by going to the programs list in the control panel. Now do some research on any programs that you're unsure of before removing. If you're not 100% sure, just wait, and chances are one of the cleanup programs we'll run later will remove it for you if it's suspect. All right, now that we've removed some of the unwanted apps, let's go ahead and reboot for good measure. Next, let's open up your task manager and check the startup area for any junk programs that may be automatically starting. Again, if you're unsure here, leave it or research it fully before disabling. Now let's go grab a great little free software called ADW Cleaner. We'll download, install, and run a quick scan with this app. 
it's okay to remove or quarantine anything that it finds. Next, we'll run a scan with Malwarebytes. It's a wonderful piece of software that attacks malware and viral issues just a little differently than a traditional antivirus program. You can grab Malwarebytes free by doing a quick web search for it. Again, it's fine to remove or quarantine any detections by the malware scan. Okay, now we're gonna grab an awesome free tune-up tool, Glary Utilities. Again, you can grab this by doing a quick web search for Glary. We'll also have download links to it in the video notes. We'll run a one-click maintenance scan to clean up junk files. Now you can take a look at the optimize and improve feature and run a disk defrag scan. Keep in mind that this defrag will only run on a traditional hard drive and not SSDs. All right, let's go turn on Storage Sense and let it run a cleanup to remove more junk files. We like to set this to run automatically every week. Next up, one of the best free updating tools, Patch My PC. Patch My PC lets you update a whole list of apps automatically with just a few clicks. You'll want to keep this little app in your normal computer maintenance process for sure. Next up, let's check out the apps that are running in the background. Not all apps that run in the background need to run all the time, so it's okay to turn off any apps that you deem unnecessary. Here, we're just turning off a few of our preferences. Okay, now we're gonna flush out some temporary junk files. On your keyboard, hit the Windows key and the R key to bring up a run box. Now type percent temp percent and hit OK. Select all files in the temp folder and delete them. If you get a prompt that they're currently in use, just skip that file.
We'll again hit the Windows key and the R key to bring up a run box. This time type temp and hit OK. Again, select all files in the temp folder and delete them. Lastly, let's hit the Windows key and the R key to bring up a run box again. Type prefetch and hit OK. Select all files in the prefetch folder and delete them. Okay, now let's run the built-in disk cleanup. Down on your search bar, type disk cleanup and select the disk cleanup app. Select the system files you wish to clean up and click OK. This may take 30 seconds or 30 minutes depending on how much junk your computer has laying around. Lastly on the agenda is running Windows Updates. Again, in your search bar, type Windows Update and click on Check for Updates. Yes, most computers now will run these updates automatically, but I like to make it a task in the tune-up process. Okay, now to round out this tune-up, let's make a post tune-up restore point. Again, in your search bar, type Restore and select Create a Restore Point. I like to name it Post Cleanup. Let's give the computer one more kick in the pants with a reboot. And there we go. A freshly tuned up computer. Regular computer tune-ups are essential for maintaining the speed and performance for your computer. We suggest doing this tune-up process every three to six months, depending on how heavily you use your computer, but twice a year is generally a great start. Again, if you need links to all of the softwares used today, they'll be linked in the video description. I hope you enjoyed this video on tuning up your slow computer. If so, please smash that like button and subscribe. We'd really appreciate the support. Otherwise, we'll see you next time in the classroom. Bye-bye, everybody.